Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. Hey everyone, I'm Jill with Rock House K9. Today we're coming to you to do a little review on the Dogtra Arc collars. So, we've got two different sets here. This is a two dog setup. So you can see my remote here. It's got the top one, the gray, so it comes on a black collar. I have mine on a bungee right now, so it's not black anymore. Um, if you watched a previous video, it's on the blue, uh, pink, pink camo bungee. Um, that would be the black one controlling that though. So on the front here, it's just a pager. And then the orange one would be my second dog. So whatever setting you have it on this rheostat dial, which goes from zero to 127, um, it's going to be the same for both dogs. On the side here, that's where you're going to hold it or tap it for a nick or a continuous, which I adjust right here on this one. It's got a little toggle that I can toggle up or toggle down. So if I toggle that up, it's going to be on nick, which is even if I just hold it, I can hold this down. It's just going to nick it once. So if I want it to nick every time, I have to keep pressing that button. If I want it to be continuous, I put it on continuous, and when I hold that in, it's gonna keep going until I stop. To turn these collars on, you're going to put the, it's kind of nifty, you put this red dot to that dot. You'll see it come on here. So it's on now. All right. Power button's over here. Keep in mind that if you turn this off on the power, this is gonna stay on, so. Make sure that they're both off when you're done with them and that you don't, you know, set them together to put them away because that can kind of sometimes turn it back on on accident. So that's the ARC two dog system. Another thing to keep in mind, um, just a cool feature of these is that if your remote happens to die and you're out and your collar is still on, you can still turn your collar off with the remote. It'll still work for that even though it's dead. Something that's really, again, nice with these collars is the splitter that comes with them. So you can charge, like on this two dog system, I can charge both my collars. Say one collar, like I use one collar more than the other, so this one stays charged quite a bit. But my remote and my other collar, not so much. So I can plug this and my other collar in, or I can plug both collars in. It's just the same easy plug for both. So it flips open, plugs in. I really like that I don't need to take any collar off to plug it in. It's just on the back side here. I just take it off, plug it in, and we're good to go. So price point on the Dog Tra 2 collar, um, if you, when you go to buy it, it's just going to be the remote and one collar for $249.99. Um, the additional collar that you buy for your remote is another $134.99. So, um, again, I knew I'm always going to be a multiple dog owner, so I just went with the two dog system. Um, this one I have on a lanyard because I like to just keep it around my neck. It's easy, but the nice thing that they also come with is a belt clip. So that's on the hands-free one I'm going to show you in a minute. But you also have the option of a lanyard. Hands-free one, um, we've had this one a lot longer, so you can see it's had a little bit more use. Like it's these are silver now at this point. They at one point were black like this one. Um, but yes, it's had a lot more wear and tear on this and it still works just as good as the brand new one. So that's nice. The hands-free one, uh, the remote's a little bit different setup. So just like this other one here, the pager is on the front, but then on the side, instead of having this um, toggle for Nick and Constant like you do on the two dog, on the hands-free system, it's on the side. So you've got these dots that are lined up in the letter N, that's going to be your nick, and the bottom one is going to be your continuous. You can put this on your rifle, you can put it on your handgun if you're shooting, if you're hunting, but it's not bulky, you don't have to fumble around with where, where is this at, which button am I pressing, it's just your dog, you're getting ready to shoot something, your dog moves, boom, you can nick them, you can continue with them real quick. So, both systems go from 0 to 127 on the Rio stat dial. They... I've got a one-year-old Dutch Shepherd that I go anywhere from four to nine. So that tells you, um, you can really crank these things and I've never found it necessary to get my dog's attention. Um, both systems are waterproof. Both systems go to three quarters of a mile. So that's a, you got some good distance on both of those things. 
Another nice feature that people like to use with the hands-free is um, if it's cold outside, you're working multiple dogs, you can have your um, hands-free system under your glove so that way you can just hold it. That way if you have leashes, it's not going to fall off, you're not going to worry about that. Something to be very clear about is people tend to think, oh, I've got this hands-free, I don't need this big remote. You need this to be proximal on you somewhere for this to work. So you can't just say, oh, I'm going off and leave this at home. This will not work, nothing will work without the remote. But you can just simply put it in your backpack, it just has to be on you. So doesn't need to be in your hand or around your neck, but just on you and then you're good to go. As I mentioned before, it's really nice for hunters, but it's also really good for the athletic people like runners. Um, me personally, I can have this in my hand um, and I don't need to worry about having this around my neck bouncing, hitting me. I can just put it in my running pouch. Um, I can even put this in my dog's pouch and it'll be fine. So really nice for the athletic people too to just be able to have this on your hand i'd like i don't like having things in my hands when i'm running so if this is just on my wrist and i can quickly tap it um it's very nice everything's becoming more hands-free we got these pouches for our phones wireless headphones so this goes right along with all your wire free gear both really like both these systems i feel like you're getting what you pay for two dog system makes sense if you have two dogs hands-free system also makes sense like I have two dogs but I also have the hands-free system because I only run with my one dog so it's they're both really really nice prior to having dog truck collars I had just like an Amazon cheap $25 $30 collar and I really noticed the difference between the shock level and the paging on the cheap one it was like I'd have it on a four and it was strong and these you can really really they're sensitive so if it's on a four it's, you might barely feel it but it's on your dog's neck so they're going to feel it more than what you feel in your hand i like that a lot that i can dial it in a lot more specifically to my dog stimulus can go so low that it's really it's not like a shock like your dog's not going to be like oh it's it's so low that it, the i see my dog kind of go to itch sometimes it's very light and it it's more of just an attention getter, like, oh, okay, I'm paying attention now. There's been a lot of hype and uh, negativity against these e-collars lately, and some I will say, yeah, they're not, you can't dial them in, you can't be precise, you might, it might feel like really high on one number at one moment, and then it stays on that number and it's lower. They're not good, there's a lot of low quality e-collars out there, but these collars, I'm just going to show you guys how I dial this up and when I can start to feel it in my own hand. Um, I'm holding this tight. We're on a zero. So obviously if I press, you know, nick or constant, I'm not going to feel anything. So then we'll dial this up to one. And I will do constant. I can't feel anything. Nothing. And I'm, I'm putting some good pressure on my hand. You can see I'm really holding that in there. So I can't feel it on one, two, or three, but these collars are meant for dogs that are 15 pounds and up. So if you have a little 15 pound dog, they might feel it on a three, especially if it's on their neck and it's on it properly. All right, so we'll go up to four now. Again, I'm still holding this very tight in my hand. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating over here or anything. So I've worked my way up to nine now, you guys, I'm at. I'm at nine and I barely feel it, but I can just start to kind of feel something. So that's on me in my hand. Very tight though. 120 pound human. 125. <laughs> so that's the review that we've got for you on these dog trick collars. Stay tuned for different reviews on different things and thanks for joining us today, guys.